Hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be creating a type animation inside of the resolve in the fusion page before we begin make sure you check out the store i create templates for the winter results such as slideshows intros titles and also made a course about map animations for the winter resolve so do check it out the link is in the description we will start off by dragging in our text and we'll just type in some text over here and i'll just change the font and increase the size and i'll just change the font weight i'm gonna set this to black and i'm using monument extended as the font the next thing we'll do is let's go to the shading tab and we will set the appearance to outline and set this to outside only and then set the join style to mitre click on that and let's just increase the thickness as well set this to around 0.45 and after this we will add in a grid warp right so let's just add in a grid warp and in the grid warp we will set the x and the y grid size to one and we will start creating our animation so make sure you are at the very first frame which is frame zero and we are going to uh, click here that says right click here for shape animation just click on the salmon icon to activate the keyframe at frame zero then let's move to frame 100 and we will set the same keyframe here so basically both these keyframes will have the same look let's just go to frame 20 now we will just change the or distort the look of the text so let's just uh, let's just view this as well and move it somewhere over here right and let's just bring this one right over here and kind of uh, move it down so i'm just doing this really fast you know take your time with this then we'll just go to frame 40 and again i'm going to just distort it from the other side as well let's just do something like this maybe and then let's go to frame 60 and just distort it um, even more so maybe something like this and then let's go to frame 80 and change uh, change the look again once you do that and the last frame it will come back to its original look and you can just loop out this animation nicely uh, now if you take a look at this animation let's just disable high quality and motion blur and also i'm going to set the playback to quarter resolution because this uh, effect is a bit heavy on your system and let's play this this is how it's going to look uh, now let's go to this line and uh, select all the keyframes click on this icon to select all and then we are going to make it smooth so click on this icon to smooth it out and then right click and set it to flat um, because i want these handles to look like this on all of these keyframes but doing this one by one will take time so just select all right click and click on flat and now we'll hit the t key on the keyboard and just ease it into 65 and 65. now if you play the animation it's gonna look something like this cool uh, then let's just copy and paste it down below and let's take a look at this second grid warp and also we can rename this rename both of these actually uh, so this one be grid warp 2 will be text 2 right so um, on the second text we will go to shading tab and we will set the appearance to text fill and we will go to second element enable that and the appearance will be text outline outside only and set the join style to mitre all right so now let's merge these two together and view this merge one this is how it's going to look let's let me just bring the quality back to full and now if your text looks like this if you don't see the red outline you just have to right click on the merge click on swap inputs there's a shortcut key for that which is Control t and you'll see this um, red outline as well if you want to create that knockout text look you can go to merge one and set the operator to xor which will create that look for you but i'm just gonna set this to default you can definitely play around with a different you know uh, different operators over here so i'm gonna set this to the default one and if you want to you can also go to text one over here and change the thickness of the text over here now after the grid warp we will use a fuse from reactor which is called echo uh, if you're using DaVinci Resolve Studio, there is uh, an effect 
called motion trails as well that will do the same thing uh, but since i'm on the free version i'll be using echo from reactor if you don't know reactor it's actually a package manager uh, you can access it by once you install it you will access it by going to workspace scripts reactor and open reactor from here you can install this echo fuse this is what it does it'll just create these trails for you uh, what we want to do is we want to change the echo frames to 10 and we will change the gain gamma to 10 and we will reduce the echo gain as well all right so you can definitely play on with these settings the end frame i'll set this to 120 because that is what my timeline duration is it's just 120 frames long so i'm gonna set this to 120 over here and after the echo we will add in a luma here right just add that and uh, if you take a look at the luma here um, we get this look so we want to change some settings over here such as uh, the gamma value and the contract and expand value and then we'll also change the high and the lows as well right so you get this uh, kind of look in it cool so you can definitely play around with these settings and if you want you can go back to echo over here and change the echo gain if you want to do that you can change the gain gamma as well um, and maybe even you can add in a subframe just set this to like one and uh, you'll have some more of those trails in your animation but i'm just going to set this to default for now now if you take a look at the final uh, or the merge one over here this is how our animation will look i'm just going to set this proxy resolution to quarter and if i just play this this is how it's going to look cool uh, so that after the merge one we will add in a background take a look at this merge two and for the background color let's just uh, use this color over here like a nice reddish color and on the merge to right click and click on swap inputs so that you can see the text in front All right looks pretty cool and then the next thing we will do is i'll just use a texture i'll just call this from texture labs i'll be using one of the textures over here this is the texture that i'll be using just connect it to this merge two take a look at this merge three and we'll set the apply mode to multiply and reduce the blend amount so you can see the textures on the text and on the background as well now after the merge three we will add in a displacement and we will use this displacement to create that hand-drawn look and we can connect the same texture to this displace and take a look at it this is what it does and for the refraction strength let's just hold the control key on the keyboard and reduce the refraction strength to around 0 0.02 and you'll end up with an animation like this and finally what you can do is after the displace add in a stop motion and set the frame repeat to three to get that choppy look and finally just add in a media out which it's right over here connect the stop motion to the media out and this will be your final animation for the displace you can use any texture you can create a fast noise connect that as the displace uh, you can go to the displace and increase the spread increase the strength and all that stuff customize it to your own liking and uh, you know come up with a different look altogether if you want to change the text like for example if i change something over here i will see that uh, we have to change make changes on both of these text nodes separately uh, what we can do is we can use expressions for this so let's just go to text to right click click on expression and i'm gonna connect it to text one dot styled text so if I go here, text one, uh, you can actually see that it's called in the bottom left corner over here. If you keep your eye on this side, uh, as I hover my mouse on the text field over here, it says text one dot style text. So this is the same expression that I used in the text two. And now if I make changes over here, both changes will be applied on these texts similarly you can do this for color as well if you go to uh, the shading tab you can you know link the red color to the red of the text too right in the shading tab 
uh, but that's just pretty much it that's how easy it is to link the properties inside of fusion i suggest you to do that this will make your life much easier when it comes to editing if you want to uh, you know quickly render this for let's say a social media post where the resolution is a square which is thousand by thousand or two thousand by two thousand a square resolution uh, what you can do is you can either go to the settings and change the uh, your timelines uh, settings over here and you can just use either a vertical resolution or change it to 1080 by 1080 square composition or you can do this in the cut page as well so if i go here and click on this uh, arrow at the top and from this list i can choose square you can see that in fusion your text will automatically adapt to the new size you don't have to you know resize the nodes or anything like that similarly if you set this to portrait everything will adapt but if you see this texture getting cropped up all you have to do is go to the fusion and after the texture over here we will add in a letterbox or you can just add in a transform as well and scale it up let's just use a letterbox over here and i'm going to set the mode to pan and scan and now whatever resolution you choose your texture will adapt to that composition right how cool is that so that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful i hope it will help you in your projects i'll be making more of these type animations if you're interested do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one